The Irango Tourism Forum is making deliberate efforts to boost passenger cruise liner tourism. In the past, Namport targeted 25 passenger cruise liners to dock at the harbor annually. This number has, however, increased since the devastating impact of COVID-19 on the industry. Thus far, 25 vessels, including Queen Mary II and Viking Neptune, have already docked at the port and 45 others are still to come. This is a confirmation that indeed we are not just a stopover. We are moving into a direction of becoming a destination. We have been engaging directly with uh, the vessel owners. We hear the cry of uh, the industry to say that, look, a stopover is not really uh, what we want. We want the cruise vessels to overnight, to spend more time, not just in the Erongo region, but beyond the Erongo region. At a stakeholders meeting, the Ministry of Environment, Forestry and Tourism revealed that players in the private and public sectors are collaborating to ensure that Valfis Bay receives 200 cruise liner vessels per year. So our vision is therefore to push that uh, Wolfis Bay or Namibia become a destination for this passenger liner. That means when they start, they must say, we are going for three, two or three days to dock at Wolfis Bay Harbor, and then we can then channel all the passengers across the country, and then the country can, can get benefit. So what we are receiving is probably a fraction only of the passenger liners that are coming through. How do we optimally maximize these opportunities? How do we make this ship stay longer? We have to look at a bigger picture of the national economy beyond what we pay for residents. If they are here for three days, they will be able to, to book with you to go to Etosha, to go to Susfle and back. Namport representatives say they have been engaging owners of passenger liner vessels to enhance the hospitality provided to the tourists as they arrive at the harbour. Renata Rinkura, NBC News, Valfis Bay.